Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's do the exercises in Chapter 14, Binary Outcome Models. In binary outcome models, we want to measure how the probability varies across individuals as a function of regressors. The two commonly used models are the logic model and the probit model. We use the cd command to go to the folder where we would like to store our files and then use the log command to record all the codes and results. We open the dataset for this chapter we have already downloaded. The describe command gives us information about the dataset. We use summarize command to take a look at the mean, the standard deviation, and other information of the variables. In the first question, we estimate the parameters of logic, probit, and linear probability models using both default and robust standard errors. We want to know how the years of schooling affect the probability of the purchase of private insurance. After each estimation, we use estimates store command to save the results. We use the estimates table command to compare the results from different models. The robust standard errors are a little bit lower than the default standard errors. The estimated Coefficients across models are different because they are scaled quite differently. But the marginal effects and predicted probabilities should be similar across models. The corresponding t statistics are slightly higher when we are using robust standard errors. Next, we estimate the marginal effect at sample means and the average marginal effect. The average marginal effect is slightly smaller than the marginal effects at sample means. This is true for both the logic and probit models because both the logic function and the probit function are concave. For the linear probability model, the marginal effect at means and the average marginal effect are the same. After running the regression model, we can use as that classification command to take a look how well the model fits the data by comparing predicted outcomes with actual outcomes. For the actual insurance data, 1,241 observations have value 1. Among them, only 343 are correctly classified by the model. So the correctly specified ratio is about 27.64%. Similarly, the correct classification rate for zero outcome observations is 84.27%. This comparison can be done manually. First, we obtain the predicted probability of the purchase of private insurance by using the predict command with PR option. Then we set the predicted outcome equal to 1 if the probability is larger than 0.5. 
and then use the tabulate command to compare the predicted outcomes with actual outcomes. You will have the same result as using the command STAT classification. The above is the measure of goodness of fit by using the percentage of correctly classified observations. You will find that using the Proby model gives the same goodness of fit. In question 2, we are using a new specification, the complementary log log model for the binary outcomes. As usual, we use margins command to calculate the average marginal effect. And the marginal effect at a representative value. In question 3, we are required to draw a graph of the predicted probabilities against years of schooling. We use predict command to generate the predicted probability for each model. We sort the variable years of schooling first. In the graph, we use scatter command for the actual observations and the lie command for the predicted probabilities. The lie pattern option specifies the pattern of the lies. In question 4, we use AIC and BIC to compare logic model and probe model. The higher the log likelihood, the better the model. Higher log likelihood is preferred according to the formula of AIC and BIC. Smaller AIC and BIC are preferred. Therefore, in this case, the Proby model is preferred. In question 5, we estimate the marginal effect at a representative value. The user written command PR change gives the same result. In question 6, we run a heteroscedastic probit regression model. The likelihood ratio test gives a zero p value. It implies the heteroscedasticity of the data. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.